Okay, hello and welcome to a video about what is the best gun in Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I'm talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 1 here, obviously. Not Black Ops 2, I don't actually have that game. So yeah, I'm just going to talk about a few different guns that I think are very, like, easy to use weapons that are good in a variety of situations and which one is the best out of them all. Because, um... There's some that people keep saying, oh, this is the best gun, but I think there are some that are, like, very much underestimated. So I'll start with the first class setup I have, which is the Stoner. And, um, this is the classified LMG, if you can call it an LMG, because it's not really that heavy, and it is a really good rate of fire. I use, um, the red dot sight, because, uh, some people might use, like, a cog or a reticle, but I think the, uh, red dot is easiest because it means like you can sort of see your surroundings still and because you're going to be using it in quite close quarter areas considering it's an LMG you're going to need a red dot so that's the attachments for secondary I always have the M72 law simply because you can free fire or you can lock onto an enemy uh, aircraft and blow their spy planes up or whatever so that helps a lot I use that with pretty much everything because none of the other secondaries are that amazing then I've got frag grenade. Um, you could use a semtex. It depends on the map. If like most of the time, you can use a frag and cook it. But if it's like a really small map or something like launch, where you're gonna be like underground and in some like the small huts and stuff, you might want to be able to throw it a bit quicker. So semtex is good for that. Concussion or flashbangs. Willy Pete is just absolutely pointless and Nova Gas doesn't really kill anyone anyway so that's kind of silly so I use them it also that's just helpful even if like you don't really stun them properly just to throw it into a building and if you get hit mark you know someone's in there um then of course claymores because you can just lay these down by a staircase or something let them walk up to it boom so it covers the door and even if it doesn't kill them at least you know they're there again um then for perk 1 I have scavenger because this gun eats a lot of ammo. So yeah, you're going to want scavenger. Uh, then sleight of hand pro because obviously it's an LMG, it's a bit like slow to reload. I'm um, pretty good considering, that's why I like this LMG, it's still got the power of an LMG but it's a bit lighter to carry. So it's kind of like a really powerful assault rifle which is why it's really good. And uh, yeah, also you can aim down sights quicker with pro so that's good. And then I have a um, marathon, so like I can sprint faster, which is always nice. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the first one. Okay, for the second gun, we have the FAMAS. Now, I know this is a very, very popular weapon. Um, I'm not entirely sure why it's so popular, because yeah, it's definitely good. I'm not saying it's a bad gun, definitely a really good weapon. But the like it has got some flaws that just make it sort of not the best. I mean, you could get better with a lot of other guns. It's just so popular. I mean, like fifty percent maybe of players use this weapon, and I know there was a patch to make it, so it wasn't so good. So maybe people just got really good with it before the patch when it was absolutely amazing, and then just stuck with it. I'm not sure, but it's it's good. The first time I used it. I got three contracts in one match, came top of the team with an amazing KD ratio, and that was with no attachments whatsoever, so it is pretty good. But anyway, red dot on the FAMAS for me, you could have extended mags or something, or a suppressor, I personally find red dots best. M72 law, as usual, um, same as before, frag or semtex, then the concussion or flashbang, claymore, and then scavenger, sleight of hand, and marathon again because these are just great perks and they do their jobs really well and you will run out of ammo with the FAMAS because it's got <clears throat> such a high fire rate. So yeah, that's it for that. Um, pretty good class, some um, good in close and far range um, scenarios but you'll see some footage of all the guns in a bit. Okay, now we have the AUG. Um, this is probably one of the best guns, well these are all one of the best guns, but this is probably, you know, in the top two, um, 
just slightly above the FAMAS for certain reasons, um, along with like the stoner. So the AUG and the stoner are probably the best two guns in Black Ops. It really depends which you feel most comfortable with. But yeah, the AUG, I have a reflex sight simply because I use the AUG a bit more of a long range and if you end up close like you can zoom in pretty fast with a uh, sleight of hand pro and then I, I um actually changed the first puck to hardline at some point um because i had it on the wrong one it's hardline but not scavenger because you're not really likely to run out of much ammo you could have ghost or scavenger it depends really but i personally think hardline's better to get those kill streaks going especially when you've got high kill streaks um, yeah, then the M72 law, blah blah blah, all the same except hardline instead of scavenger. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the AUG, a very good weapon and you'll see footage in a minute. Okay, now the AK-74U. This is another um, reasonably popular weapon that a lot of people use. This was the gun I used um, <clears throat> to get my way up through the ranks pretty quickly at the lower levels. Not so fond of it now because I do sort of bigger maps and I realised it's not good range wise. But in a close quarter situation it's got a fair amount of damage and considering it's a submachine gun it's pretty big and it's got all the assault rifle attachments so I don't know why it's a submachine gun but oh well it is. Um, I have got rapid fire on this at the moment. I used to have grip and I would have grip and rapid fire but I want to keep my sleight of hand pro and not trade that for warlord. So yeah, all the same except perk 1, I have lightweight just so I can move really quickly with it. And then hacker because I don't need marathon because I've got lightweight and it's a submachine gun. So yeah, that's it. Now for some footage so you can make your mind up as to which is your favourite gun. 